Well, here I am at the outside villa for the musical Sound of Music. This is what we painted last week. There's about three of us, and we knocked this out in a couple hours. I think it looks great. Just needs a few things that need to be fixed. One of the things that we did on purpose was we painted this back, the mountains, the trees, the water, in very light, pastel-y colors. This is called atmospheric perspective. and. Uh, the trick is to paint those things lighter and then the things closer to you are going to be darker because you're going to be able to see them more. They don't have as much atmosphere in the way, if you will. Today is actually a beautiful example of that. I'm going to take you outside and show you an example of real life what atmospheric perspective looks like. And uh, the only other thing I need to fix, so to, to make that pop a little more, we need to make these trees in the front a little darker. I also want to add some shading to this banister because that needs to come a little forward. These horse, donkey, goat looking things are in the distance so we're not going to do much with those. And I will paint a fence between the two gate, if you will, but um, they're in the distance so I'm not going to make that very dark. And uh, the only, I guess the other thing is these trees are kind of cone-like shape and uh, just want to break that up a little bit so they don't look like perfect triangles. And that's going to be about it. Well, those are the final touches on the painting. The only thing that I added that I didn't say I would at the first was I added some black marks to this greenery area here. I just felt it was looking a little too solid of a color and just needed a little something to break things up. You have a lot of motion and design and then it was kind of like blah. So just wanted to break that up a little bit. You also notice that I kept taking steps back the worst thing you can do is zoom in on one little portion of your painting and go to town in that and then you step back and realize it doesn't go with the rest of the painting. So it's good to keep working on your painting and taking a step back. This is scenery and so the closest person to this scenery is going to be 20 feet probably. So as you look up close you'll see this work isn't exactly precise. This work up close looks really blotchy. It doesn't look very pretty, but the closest person to this work will be probably 20 feet away at least. So you don't want to spend a lot of time working out the details because you'll be here forever. All right, here's our example of atmospheric perspective, not pressure, I keep wanting to say pressure, atmospheric perspective. This is a way that we can show distance when we paint. Behind me you see the play set. It's nice and vivid. It's close to me so you can see it with uh, good contrast and color. And as I step to the side here, you see the background, all the landscape uh, immediately behind is is a uh, rich color but as it gets further out into the distance you see that it lightens quite a bit and uh, so when we're painting any kind of scenery you want to make sure that the uh, land that's further back is lighter so you just, you just mix a lot of white with that to accomplish this. That's it for atmospheric perspective. Thank you.